Oh, look at this, everyone. The lion's just gone up into the tree. Our patience has paid off. And he's now feeding on that kill, on that one carcass. Now, interestingly enough, he hasn't been able to get it out of the tree yet. He's been trying. He's been pulling and tugging at it. But somehow that neck seems to be caught. I would have thought this powerful male would be able to pull this carcass out of this marula, make it a bit easier to feed on. Maybe he's just happy feeding there because he doesn't want to share the carcass with his brother. Very, very interesting behavior. You know what, I just find this sighting phenomenal because there's been a lot going on here. So if we think this, firstly a male leopard killed not one but two impala in close proximity, hoisted them into the same tree and managed to feed on the one carcass. This one that this lion's feeding on now, the male leopard didn't really feed on. I think this male lion was the first one to get to it and open it up. Let's see if he... Wow, he's really... It's almost like he's hanging on. There, there, watch, watch. Oh. Wow, look how powerful he is. He's holding that whole impala carcass now. Let's see. Is he going to drop it or try and climb down with it? This is fascinating. Now, what's interesting is the lion has gone up and down the tree on the side closest to us. Excuse me a second. I just need to move forward a little bit. There's a plane coming in, believe it or not. Hold on, hold on. Hey, that should be all right. Uh, we're on the airstrip and there's a plane about to land, so you might hear a bit of noise. But look at this. Don't leave us just yet. This lion, as I said, has been going up and down the tree on the side closest to us. And now, for some reason, well, the carcass has fallen that way. He's still holding it, but he might try and turn around. Let's see what he does. Okay, I'm just going to wait for this plane to land. <laughs> it's amazing. Probably some guests arriving. And what a what a welcome party! A lion in a tree, big male. But look how powerful he is. He's still just holding on. He doesn't want to let go of that carcass. Where is the other male? Did he move? Oh, the other male is still there, just watching. Oh, let's see. How is this lion going to do this? Watch, watch. Watch, oh, look at that, amazing. So you dropped half of it, and then he's just, uh, but listen to him growling, listen everyone. He's growling at the moment, so he dropped it and then just took that leap at the end. But that's quite a drop for this big male lion. That is amazing. Hey, wasn't that incredible? Perfect timing. We sat here, spent time. As I said, you know, and I've said this many, many times before, often people find lions and they're resting and they say, oh, they're flat cats. And you all know I really dislike that term. I really don't like it because you never know. These animals are wild animals and they will always surprise us. And look at that. It's paid off for us. We had this lion up in the tree, busy feeding and then brought it down. I was wondering when he was going to do that. And he's growling. He doesn't want to let his brother close to this carcass. It's very interesting. I'm just going to wait. There's a plane passing us. Might get a little bit noisy. Andy, Mike, you say that was amazing and we're so lucky. We really were, really were very, very lucky to see that. <laughs> Look at those eyes through the branches there now. And also, we were so fortunate because he was up in the tree, we had a beautiful view of him. He's in a bit of a thicker area now, but we'll hang around. I think he's maybe just going to try and feed. 
And what I may do is actually reposition and try to view him from the other side. We might have a better view of him feeding. So not looking directly into the light. Um, actually, just let me see. There might be a gap right here, Viam. Let me move quickly for us. 